what we're gonna do is take this little tub right here. We're gonna fill this with Nicodate and then drop this guy into that tub and see if we can get any details off of it. Let's make sure it's completely sealed in the stuff. There we go. So you can actually already see the date. Look at that. This acid is just eating the light metal that wasn't stamped as hard as the uh, relief was. Yeah, look at the details on that. How is that even possible? Hello everybody and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your home for treasure hunting of all kinds. So today I'm joined by my brother Kevin who has very graciously given me access to his coin collections we're gonna be taking a look at some of the coins in that collection, specifically some really, really old nickels that don't even have dates because they're so worn out. So the goal of today's video is to take these dateless shield nickels and apply this acid to the coins in order to reveal the dates. And there's a couple dates in particular that we're gonna be looking for, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. So this series ran from 1866 to 1883. But the dates that you're gonna to wanna to be looking out for are 1871 and 1876 through 1881. Those are very good dates, considered key dates in the series. If we can get one of those coins, those are worth like hundreds of dollars. Yeah, so e even in this condition with the acid date, it's going to be a hundred dollar coin easy. So we definitely have some potential for some good stuff here, guys. I'm excited to get into this. Let's go ahead and start applying the acid to these coins one by one. Okay, so here are what the coins look like before applying any of the acid. As you can see, these coins are pretty wiped clean. Uh, this one in particular almost looks just like a blank planchet right there. You can hardly make any details on that coin. There's a little bit of the shield showing, but uh, there's really not a whole lot going on with that one. I'm excited to, to see the results yeah. on that one. I think it's gonna do really well. You know what, I think we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna just apply a little bit of Nicodate to the bottom of the coin, and hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the date showing through. This is actually the first time I've ever done this, so. Yeah, every other uh, Nicodate video that I've done, I've just pretty much done by myself, but it'll be nice to have a little help this Should time I around. Slide that on there. Yep, so that's gonna be around the uh, date area right there. Mm -hmm. I think if I could just get it over to the left a little bit more. There you go. What do you think? Is that fully covered there? I Kevin? think, yeah, it's a really small day. I think that should yeah. cover it. All right, so we're going to let this one sit for a while. I've actually learned that it's, it's better to let them sit than to uh, just, you know, keep uh, brushing that stuff off and reapplying it over and over again. It's better to just let it sit for a while. So let's go ahead and get on to another one here. Here, I think we'll just grab this one from the top. You can almost already make out a date on that one. It's just down there on the bottom side. And uh, I will go ahead and throw up a picture of uh, what this would look like with the date so you guys can see that as well. Um, it's definitely going to be 18 something, but let's uh, just put some of that Nick date on there right. and hopefully we'll be able to get that date all the way off. I'm saying 68 on this one. I think I looked at it a little bit earlier. Oh, you got a little on your hand yet. Yeah, definitely going to want to get that in the right. water. Well. So we'll put that one uh, to the side. Kevin's going to wipe that off his hand. I'm going to take this one right here which I think is about done reacting and we're just gonna drop it in the water there and uh, get all of that stuff off. Hopefully we'll be able to get a date off once that is done. But uh, we're gonna apply this to a couple more of these coins and uh, get back to you guys. Hopefully we're gonna see some dates come off in just a second here. So we'll get back to you in just a sec. All right guys, so we fixed our setup a little bit, got a little bit more lighting here. Uh, we have one cooking right here, but uh, I think on this one, we're actually gonna see some details here and uh, I'll put up a picture once again to show you where the date should be because I know it's a little tricky if you haven't seen these coins before. Uh, but actually what I'm seeing, and maybe it's just wishful thinking, but I'm kind of seeing like an 1880 or an 18, well it can't be 1889, so that's ruled out. Um, I don't know though, I'm sort of seeing like this might be an 1880, which is definitely one of the best dates that you could possibly find. Um, moving over to this one right here, the first one that we looked at, um, not really seeing a date on this one. I think this one might be tricky. So we're gonna move on to uh, this one right here. You can see we had this one cooking for a while. Uh, the acid on it has pretty much just turned completely black so you can't really see anything uh, underneath it. But I'm gonna dip this one in the water and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something off of that. Yeah, I'm seeing some, uh, some date datage on this one, Kevin. Good. Hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, read this. So let's bring it up here. Uh, close to the camera and see if we can get anything off of that. So it's still kind of shiny wet there uh, It's definitely a seven. Do you see that Kevin? It's really? 18. Yeah, 1870 something. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, definitely a seven there, right? That's a really good sign. So I got the Nicodate on the next one here, Kevin. I think I'm just gonna set it down <laughs> Just got to get it over to the left a little bit more and uh, we will set that one down. Yeah, this one is really tough to tell. We're looking at the uh, third digit when we were talking about the seven. Mm -hmm. So one, eight, seven. Uh, so it's gonna be 1870 something, which is a good uh, range of dates. At least it's not the 60s, which are mm -hmm. all pretty common. So that is a really good sign. Uh, unfortunately, the last digit is really tough to tell. I don't really see anything. 
Um, it might be a good idea to throw a little bit more acid on this and wait a little bit longer. But... Um, I have one right here that I think is gonna show up really well for us. Uh, I'm already seeing the date show through. So we're definitely seeing the date show through on this one. I'm seeing this stuff darken, so it's getting hard to see on camera. So what I'm gonna do is set that one down and uh, we will get back to that one in a second. But I think we're gonna get a clear date off of that one for once. All right, it's been a few more minutes and we have a little bit more acid on a couple more of these coins. And this one that we were just talking about that is only worn, not corroded, has been sitting for a few minutes and it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and dip this. See what we got. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. 73. Yeah, that's a decent date. That is our first clear date as well. Let me grab the book here mm -hmm. and uh, see what we have for a mintage on that. So there's actually, it looks like three different varieties. I'll pull these over for you guys so you can see. This is our red book, uh, 2020, the latest that has come out so far. And look at that. If you have a closed three, hmm. that's 436,000. That's, that's very rare. And then there's the open three and the large over small three. So I don't yeah. know, in this condition, it might be difficult to tell. This one's nice and worn. Uh, very little corrosion though, so should be a nice one uh, to see what happens. Let's, I just put the little drop down and uh, just let it spread a little bit, get that entire date area covered. You can see this stuff does work pretty fast. You start seeing details. Uh, even within just a few seconds of putting the acid on the coin. All right, so this is the last one that we haven't applied any acid to yet. And as you can see in the date range down there, it's already coming through. It's either an 1873 or an 1872. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure about the last digit, so I just wanted to throw some acid on this one, clear it up so we can... Yeah, see I was gonna say, find. the first thing I saw was 1878, which would okay. be a little crazy, because that's the proof only variety. Yeah. So. Um, that's probably not gonna be it. But uh, guys, we were just looking at the book and uh, if we actually have an 1880, that's literally the key date of the series, coming in at just 16,000 minted, you can see right here. 1880 at 16,000 minted in good four condition worth $1,500. Crazy. Of course, this wouldn't be good four condition and I'm, I'm pretty sure, Kevin, it wouldn't even grade on this scale, is that correct? No, no, this would be a details grade, but still, I mean, with a minted of 16,000, it's yeah. a very desirable coin in any condition. Yeah, so I, I can't even imagine that this could actually happen. <laughs> There's These coins are minted in the millions and this one's only 16,000 yeah. if we have it. Uh, we put it on, I think this is the third time that the Nicodate has been applied to the coin that we think might be in 1880. So what do you think, Kim? Should I take it off now or just let Yeah, it might as well do it see. now. You don't uh, want to ruin the coin more than yeah. you have to. All right, so let me dip it in the water and hopefully we can start seeing that 8-0 show through. Hmm. That would be really nice. And uh, with the 1880s, you only have the possibility of having 80, 81, 82, and 83, right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, so if you have an eight, then there's only a few different ways that the coin could possibly go. All right, so. Just patting it down once more. Let's see if we can get any more detail off of that coin. Man, it's gonna be tough to say, especially looking through the camera. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to look at that one off camera and then maybe we'll be able to come back to you guys with uh, something else to say. A yeah, closer inspection of this one that we thought was an 1880 and unfortunately it's looking like an 1869. Okay. That's gonna be my best guess. Uh, the, I think the nine's coming through pretty clear and the six, I can see the, the break in the top of what we thought was an eight. And you know what, that would make more sense. That's a very common coin. I think it's actually the most common, <laughs> or no, not, not, not quite the most. The 1868 looks like it's a little bit more common than that. And then the 1867 with rays, it's even more common than that. So nice. um, yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. I thought we might've had something there. Yeah, but, that's um, too bad. We still have a lot of coins to go through. Um, some of them are showing dates, some of them aren't. I think the next one we do is this one right here. I'm excited to see uh, what that yeah, one's gonna show up for fun. us. So. All right, let's go ahead and get into that uh, once we uh, clear up some of these coins here. All right, so we've used a lot more acid and I think we finally have results all except for the one coin which we're gonna do in just a second here. So basically these five up here are pretty much unsavable. So what we're gonna do is just take a bunch of this stuff and put it on for like 10 minutes and see if we have any chance of getting any dates off. So I'm gonna do that now. But Kevin actually has four over here that we were able to get dates off and some came up uh, pretty clearly. So if you wanna show those now, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of acid on these ones right here. Yep. So as for now, we are four out of nine, which isn't a terrible uh, ratio for shield nickels. They're very tough coins to get dates off of. Um, man, this is gonna be really tough to show on camera, but this is the one that we thought was 1880. It is in fact an 1869. Yep. 
So hopefully you can see that a little bit. And you can see we have the acid on all five of those. Oh, yeah, that's, that's gonna sit for a long time. This is the one that we just recovered. Uh, 1873 is the date on this one. Uh, you can see the seven right under the dot of the shield mm -hmm. there, and then the three is right to the right of it. This one's really obvious. This is probably the nicest one that came out. Another 1873, which is a decent date. So there you see it. And as I was saying, this one is only worn, not corroded. That's why this one came out so nice. And the last one we had have a date come through was this one that we couldn't figure out what the, what the last digit was after the seven we figured out that it's actually in 1867 if you look mm -hmm. to the left of the six you'll see an eight so that's why we couldn't find the digit after the seven yeah we were looking after that seven but mm -hmm. it's uh 67. now what we're gonna do is take this little tub right here we're gonna fill this with nicodate and then drop this guy uh into that tub and see if we can get any details off of it you yeah. can see that this is the shield side and then yeah, i think okay, I can compare here yeah so if you're looking at the curls up here, yeah. that's all you can see in that corner. Right, so the date's gonna be down here on this part. We're just gonna put the whole thing in to see what happens uh, and see if we can get some uh, details off. I think we're gonna get some good details. So yeah. let's just go ahead and dump a whole bunch of this acid. It's actually gonna take a while to get out of there. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna wanna make sure that we can get that coin completely doused in the stuff. So uh, why don't you go ahead, Kevin, just drop it in there. Sure. We'll make sure that it's covered up. Go hover us up. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yep, so, all right, let's make sure it's completely sealed in the stuff. There we go. So there is the coin. I think I'll just add a little bit more to make sure. But, uh, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, you can already see it uh, coming Whoa. off of there. Wow. That is really cool. It's hard to see on the camera though. Here, let's try to get the light on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's definitely coming through right away. You can see all of the, the details coming off. That's really nice, really cool to see. <laughs> see if we can orient this light a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you can see all that. Look at that. Wow, that's looking like a AU coin right now. <laughs> yeah, wow. it really is. That's crazy. Details coming off really nice. That is so cool. So you can actually already see the date. Look at that. You see if it? I move it, I think it's 1867, I believe. Cool. Yeah, look at the details on that. How is that even possible? Yeah. Look at that, 1867. My only explanation was me that it was only worn, no corrosion. So, None at all. So this this acid is just eating the light metal that wasn't stamped as hard as the uh, as the relief was. Man, look at that. It's it's even got it's even got stripes left on yeah, the shield. It, yeah. I don't know how th it does this. I mean, that's so cool. Yeah, let's let's take it out. I think it's ready. Okay. Grab some yeah. uh, some toothpicks. This is the there. best way we could think of using uh, two toothpicks as like kind of chopsticks mm -hmm. or something. Pick this. Oh man, out. it's hard to see on the camera, but the detail yeah. on this thing is stellar. So yeah. I'm gonna put this gonna down, put right here. and uh, you can go ahead and grab it out of there. We'll put it in the water so that reaction stops. Hopefully that backside got it. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna need more on the backside. I think so. Yeah, but uh, let me just. Wow. Yeah, that is so cool, guys. This is gonna be a really nice reveal here. So I'm just gonna pull this out of the water now. And uh, give it a quick pat down in uh, the paper towel there. Wow, that is a beautiful looking shield nickel right there. And you would have never even known that That's if you didn't. Crazy. Yeah, if you didn't use the nicodate, you would have never seen that. And you can see that this is by far the clearest date yeah. that we've had come through 1867. I think uh, we're gonna want to hit that backside though. Okay. Maybe we'll see the same reaction happen. I think we might want to replace our, our uh, acid to? here too. You can see all that. I guess that's the the. Uh, you could do it one more time. Huh? Yeah, the copper coming off. Yeah, I guess we could. So let me just drop it in there one more time. See if we can start seeing some of that. Uh... Will that be the reverse or the obverse? That's the reverse. So 1867 has a chance for the uh, rays, yep. which would be uh, better than the no ray. Right. Ray. And I can already tell you right now, I'm not um, seeing them. yeah, I'm not seeing the rays. Okay. So we do already have this coin, but this one is in much better shape. And yeah, I'm seeing the five come through now. Maybe you guys could see that as well. I'll try to get it. Yeah, you can see there's America right there. <laughs> and uh, the five is coming through. You can sort of see it when I turn it in the light. This is so cool. Um, I've heard of people doing this before with shield nickels, especially ones that look completely blank. Um, but uh, I've never done it myself. I've yeah, never, had awesome. a, never had a blank one like that to, to experiment with. So yeah, it's definitely coming off nice, nicely now. We have the oh, uh, wow. huh. reverse side showing there. <laughs> 
So we'll just let that sit for a little bit. We'll get back to you once we're ready to pull this out. Okay, so we let that sit for about 45 more seconds. Now Kevin is ready to pull it out of there. And do you want do you want to lift it up so I can show the, yeah, the for camera? Sure. Yep. So yeah, you can see that come out. So like as I just lift this up, look at this detail. Yeah. Look at that. That yep. that seriously looks like an AUXF coin, mm -hmm. and it's it was worn flat like a planchet. I mean that is a crazy result. There's your coin right there. You can see it's looking absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna give it a pat so we can get that glare off uh, from the water. So there it is, man. It's a little bit discolored. It's definitely not um, the original color of the coin, but that from a blank planchet is just awesome to see and i think i might even see a little die crack in there oh yeah yeah possibly. yeah die cracks are really common in the shield nipples so mm -hmm. it's very it's very probable yeah so there is the reverse and then we'll flip it over here huh see the obverse just a beautiful looking coin there's even detail still left on the shield somehow nice 1867 right there What's really interesting is that it's still a very flat coin. Right. But you can, like, the details are just popping. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, but feel it, feel it. Oh, yeah, it's, like, almost completely flat. There's no no so, bumps at all. How does that happen, then? Yeah, I, I couldn't like, like, could I mean, here, I'll it. try to get a view. Look at, there is no relief to the coin, mm -hmm. and yet it has that detail. Yeah. I don't know. All I do know is that we need to get this thing in some serious water to yeah. make sure that that reaction doesn't keep going. Otherwise, those details are going to be gone in a few days. This right one there. right here, I think I'm going to take out because I want to look at the reverse. I think we might be able to get similar results. I think we're going to uh, put this one in Nicoday. Let's see if we can get uh, a result doing basically the same procedure as before. and just kind of dowsing it in this stuff. So I'll fill up another cap full right there for you guys. And uh, we will drop that puppy in. Make sure we are completely covered there. Let's see if we can get some results. <laughs> like I said, guys, this stuff works fast. If I move it back and forth like this, you might be able to see a little better. Kim, could you do me a favor and tap on the screen right there? Just to yep. tap on the coin so we're closed in on it nicely. I'm seeing it already, guys. I'm seeing the five come through. We're gonna have a pretty similar thing going on here. All right, so about a minute later now, and that coin is looking really nice. Kevin's gonna help me out here with the toothpicks. Whoops, oh, uh -oh. I think I just scratched it. Oh, Kevin, Yeah. big no-no in the I, coin. I would community. imagine that this metal is very soft right yeah. now, and that's why I could scratch it so easy with it's the vulnerable. Toothpick. All right, let's take a look at that reverse. Definitely came out a lot better uh, than the obverse, and if only the obverse was, could show these details here. We might be able to actually get a date off yeah. of it. But that's a really nice looking uh, see that obverse. Uh, no, I can't actually. I don't, yeah, I don't see it coming on. through. Probably ate yeah. it away already. Okay, so while we were waiting for this one to soak, we actually took all five of those coins up there and tried to see if we could get any dates off of them. Four of them were a bust, but this one right here is actually showing a date and it's pretty clear. So I don't know how we thought that this one was gonna be a hopeless effort because we're seeing a pretty clear 1882 right there yeah. which i know you guys are thinking early 80s that might be a rare one mm -hmm. unfortunately it's not there's about 11 million uh, of these minted but that is a super clear date right there very easy to see uh, on that coin so i'm happy to have that one so all in all we ended up with six with dates three were extremely clear uh, the clearest was actually that one that uh, to the naked eye might have seemed like it wouldn't amount to anything but uh, taking a look at this coin once it's been doused in the nick of day, we see a very nice and clear 1867. Uh, the next clearest, surprisingly, was one that we didn't have very much hope for either. Uh, it's an 1882 with a really nice clear date showing up right there. And then I think the next clearest date right here is once again an 1867. And uh, then the rest of them are a little bit more tricky, but I think we have a couple 73s and a 69. Yep. And then these four, uh, we weren't able to get a date off of, but uh, we did try, it's just the corrosion on these things, especially this one right here, you can see there's just no way that uh, a date is gonna be coming off of that one. So guys, every coin that we applied acid to in this video will go up for auction on my eBay. Link should be in the description below. Um, I'm really not sure how much these will go for, maybe a buck or two a piece. So if you're interested in owning any of the coins that you saw in this video, go ahead and check out the link below. There'll be in no reserve auctions and uh, have fun. Are you KQ Coins on eBay? And yep, Instagram? yep. That's also my handle on, on uh, eBay is KQ Coins. Instagram as well. If you want to talk to me, shoot me a DM. I love to talk coins.
Yep, so those links will be down in the description below. Make sure to check out Kevin. He's a phenomenal seller of coins. He's got a huge collection, and uh, he's got a whole bunch more of this really cool stuff, so definitely check him out. But anyways, guys, that is going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, because we post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.